everyone, Tyler Parsons back again. Today we're going to be looking at another Super Speed Golf review and breakdown. So I did the one back in the summer, it's been roughly six months, um, been doing some training and everything like that. Very cold today in Kentucky, uh, it's not the best. I've already done my warm up, uh, 129.2, we'll go through a level one protocol, hit and we're going to see what we get. So just finished up with the level one protocol. Uh, I've got the number blown up. Hopefully you can see it. I'm gonna hit around eight to ten balls. Sort of see what uh, we get with the speed. Again, it's cold, standard length drivers, so it's not gonna be anything impressive as far as those numbers go. We just want to see if they're higher. Of course, I'm checking with TrackMan. I don't know if you can see it, but I have the uh, speed radar set up as well. So we'll get going. Right out of the gate, we've got 131. Uh, I'm thinking we're going to see something a little bit faster. The swing radar is showing 138. Okay, it's a little bit slower. Thirty-three point six. Uh, speed radar is at one thirty-nine. Alright, so we're going with one more. Uh, definitely a little bit faster already. about that speed. Now keep in mind, speed doesn't always mean further. We still have to hit it solid. We have to have the right spin rate, the correct launch angle. But a big component that find hitting it behind hitting it further is going to be getting that speed. Everybody needs a little bit more, getting it very solid, 
perfect launch, you're going to get longer draws. So Super Speed Golf, wrap up as a review. Um, great product, great training aid, something I think anyone who wants more speed and power needs to have. It's not going to be the end all be all, meaning we can't just pick up the sticks. We know that we've got to have a good warm up routine. We need to do proper stretches, make sure that body can physically do what we want it to do before we look into getting speed. We also want to have to have that strength and power. Um, yes, the overspeed training and working both ways is going to be good to even out that body, but we have to make sure, again, we've got the proper brake system that the body can hold and basically maintain the power putting into it and through that torque. Now, a huge thing is going to be our little speed radars, okay? They're not accurate whenever it comes to throwing down the ball and hitting it, okay? They are one of the few sources that are going to give you some sort of feedback on a dry swing whenever we're using the Super Speed Golf, okay? So with Trackman, obviously we have to hit the ball. And that's the end result, is to be able to hit the ball, to swing it faster. But where I'm going with this is that each swing, whenever we're loading up and we're going through, we need 100, 105, 110%. Okay, that's why the uh, amount of swings is so low. Each one though, we need to be trying to go faster. So if we don't have that, it makes it very difficult to sort of check. Yes, you'll say you're going hard, but that number really engages and gets people going. Anyone who's looking to get more speed, again, I think it's something very helpful to add in. We definitely still need to hit the gym, mobility, flexibility, stability, muscle activation, strength, power. It's one piece of the component. We need that. We also will need those proper mechanics, something great. Again, if you haven't got on board yet, definitely do, building up a lot of momentum.